Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Y'all kick off the shoes and you set a spell, all right? Now here's your host for the show, that old Kentucky boy himself, Mr. Bob Snap. Hi guys, and welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Uh, today's video. First, let me ask you a question. Have you ever seen the pilot episode of the Beverly Hillbillies? Very hard to find nowadays. Uh, but I'm here to tell you where you can watch it and for free. Uh, the 1962 pilot is available to watch on my stupid video. Uh, around 1962, Beverly Hillbillies on CBS. Uh, if you missed a pilot episode, well, you can see it now. It'll make you go, well, doggies, like Jed Clampett, played by Buddy Epson. Uh, seriously, the Paul Henning created show aired its pilot and would start a nine-season run. You can see the pilot episode now, as it is up on YouTube. There are some interesting differences from the usual episodes, like what you might ask. Well, you'll hear the voiceover introducing the main storyline and some of the characters. It's the first time viewers saw Jed, Granny, Ellie Mae, and Jethro on the screens as the Beverly Hillbillies. Title pops up and reads The Hillbillies of Beverly Hills. Irene Ryan played Granny, Donna Douglas, Ellie Mae, Max Bear, Jethro. Other main characters uh, were Milburn, Bri Milburn Drysdale, played by Raymond Bailey, and Jane Hathaway, played by Nancy Culp. And, of course, you will see Cousin Pearl Bodine, played by B. Ben Drake, on here, too. It's the first time Jed's house in the Ozarks appeared. Obviously, Jed went out to shoot at the animal, only to strike oil, and it gushed from the land. Uh, that would start the journey from there to California. One thing that you will hear from regular episodes of the Beverly Hillbillies is the guitar and banjo of legendary bluegrass musicians uh, Lester Flatt and Earl Scruggs. Nope. Ballad of Jed Clampett, sung by Jerry Scoggins, doesn't show up at all. How popular was this show? Outsiders, insiders, all-arounders, the show snagged the number one spot in the Nielsen ratings in its first two seasons. Beverly Hillbillies was a perennial top 20 show for eight of its nine seasons on CBS. 16 of its episodes reached 100 most-watched shows in television history. Henning rode the sitcom success into having two other shows, Petticoat Junction and Green Acres. Get spots on CBS. Both shows did li did not live up to the same level as the Beverly Hillbillies. And there you go. Now, before you go, I want to ask you a question and see if you ever thought about this. Do you remember the episodes where Jethro and uh, Uncle Jed were shooting flies off the wall at 100 yards away or whatever it was? How did Jed Clampett miss a rabbit that just kind of barely hopping. How did he miss the rabbit and hit the ground and spark the oil? He must have got better in them few days, huh? That's all I have for you. Please don't forget about classic TV facts and trivia. Head on over there. Please check it out for me. And if you would, please share those videos out with your family and friends. Uh, hope you have a great day. God bless you. And I will be praying for you.